income. So we think that this is just the, the tip of the iceberg. We think there are many more crimes. And my concern is that Weiss may have uh, indicted Hunter Biden to protect him from ah, having to be deposed yes. in, the, in the House Oversight Committee yes. on Wednesday. He but indicted we him to protect him. Yes. The classic rubric. He indicted him to protect him. I got it. Well, look, this whole, this, this, Jake, this whole thing's been about a cover-up. You know, you've got two That's why he indicted concerns. him to, to protect him, to, to cover it up? Well, he, look, you indict him on the least little thing, the gun charge and not paying taxes. He's facing prison? like 17 I mean, additional years in prison. Yeah, but look These what he's felonies. done. Anybody else? Anybody? Finally, the gloves are off. Jake Tapper of CNN completely shredding MAGA Republican leader James Comer on live TV. MAGA Republican James Comer wakes up in the morning and mutters Hunter Biden's name over and over again. It is so completely embarrassing. I forget when Hunter Biden was the president of the United States or held a government position like Jared Kushner. Uh, he didn't. Let me show you this next clip right here because it was an utter disaster for MAGA Republican James Comer, who sits on the Oversight Committee and basically spends his day not figuring out how to help the American people, but how to go after Hunter Biden. And he's got no evidence linking Hunter Biden's uh, conduct when he was a drug addict to President Joe Biden. This whole thing is just so embarrassing to our country that the MAGA Republicans are doing this and focused on this. But it could be some therapy watching Jake Tapper conduct this interview. Play the clip. I asked for one piece of evidence or testimony that directly and credibly connected President Biden to proven misconduct. I, I, I will. I said it. I said it. The, fire, the termination mm. of Shokin in yeah, Ukraine not, as well that, as the, that isn't it. his his that son and brother. Well, well, I look, y'all have been saying no evidence for a long time and Hunter was innocent. I, I mean, said it doesn't no, look to me like Hunter. No, no, I never Hunter said that. I've never said that about Hunter. I've, I've, oh, I've never said that about Hunter. But it's only a two hour show. Chairman James Comer, always good to see you. I hope uh, you enjoy your- Another great clip from that interview where Jake Tapper points out and just obliterates these MAGA Republican talking points where they go, you see, Joe Biden, when he was the vice president, what he was trying to do was he was trying to fire Victor Shokin in order to help his son. First and foremost, by firing the corrupt Ukrainian prosecutor, Victor Shokin, that would not have been helpful to Hunter Biden. That would have been harmful to Hunter Biden because Shokin was actually working cooperatively with Burisma. But setting that aside, the, uh, the, I, the idea to remove Victor Shokin was not like a Joe Biden as vice president thing initiated. This was across democracies abroad to remove Victor Shokin. Here, play this clip. Peddling scheme. So that's what you're saying, but the counter argument might be that it's not that he's only charging crimes that cannot be traced to President Biden. The counter argument might, might be he's only charging crimes for which there is actual evidence. And that would lead mm -hmm. me to my next question is, can you name one piece of evidence or testimony that directly and credibly, credibly connects President Biden to any of this proven misconduct proven i could i could name two okay uh, first of all we we believe president biden committed a quid pro quo uh when he leveraged a billion dollars of u.s taxpayer money in ukraine in exchange for firing the prosecutor shokin who was investigating barisma the company that hunter biden just got charged with receiving substantial sums of money and not paying taxes we believe that joe biden was directly involved in the termination we believe this Jake, because he admitted it on tape. That's that's one crime. The entire. Uh, we let, let, we'll get to the second in a question in, in a second. Okay. But just for our okay. viewers' awareness, the entire Western world wanted Shokin fired. Like it wasn't just President Biden. The entire Western world, the European Union, uh, the G8. There was there were a lot of people, including Republican members of the House and the Senate, who wanted Shokin fired. It wasn't just like. Vice President Biden, you know, conspiring with himself. So, okay, what, what, what's the second one you want? This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
Gift giving around the holiday season can be a bit stressful, especially if you're a people pleaser like somebody I know. But hey, here's the thing. Whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do just that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Now, I've personally benefited from therapy. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. And it isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash Midas today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Midas. And by the way, you even have Peter Ducey saying it and Fox is saying it, that the Republicans like James Comer, they don't have the goods or anything near it. This is Fox. Play the clip. The House Oversight Committee has been at this for years, and they have so far not been able to provide any concrete evidence that Joe Biden personally profited from his son Hunter's overseas business, but they are going to try again with this impeachment inquiry that's set to start next week still. Peter, thanks very much. And by the way, I'm reminded of that interview where, remember when Brian Kilmeade of Fox called on uh, or called up to interview the former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, and tried to basically have him go after President Joe Biden and basically say, you see, Biden wanted to fire Viktor Shokin when he was the vice president. And here, the former president of Ukraine goes, Viktor Shokin was a bad guy, a crazy person that democracies across the world wanted out. And again, what we're showing you here on the Midas Touch Network, I want to give you a wide variety of sources. So look, I thought Jake Tapper did great here, but let me show you Fox, Brian Kilmeade, interviewing who? The former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Play this clip. I had a chance to talk to uh, Victor Shokin, a man who says uh, he was uh, friends of yours, who you asked uh, to come back and help out during the transition uh, after the previous regime. Here's what he said on why he was fired by you. Listen. Poroshenko fired me at the insistence of the then Vice President Biden because I was investigating Burisma. There were no complaints whatsoever, no problems with how I was performing at uh, my job, but because pressure was repeatedly put on President Poroshenko, that is uh, what ended up in uh, him firing me. Is that why he got fired? Because of the billion dollars and the, the, the former Vice President, now President? First of all, this is the completely crazy person. And um, this is something wrong with him. Second, there is no one single word of truth. And third, I hate the idea to, com to make any comments and to make an, any intervention in the American election. We have very much enjoyed the bipartisan support and uh, please do not use the such person like Shirk Shokin to undermine the trust between bipartisan support and Ukraine. Right. Uh, what do you mean? He, he's not your friend? I don't see him maybe four years or something at all. And hate the idea to have him because he play very dirty game, unfortunately. Okay. So that is not true. You didn't, you, he didn't get fired because of Joe Biden. He was fired uh, because of his own statement. And if you do not do that, next day, Ukrainian parliament will fire him uh, with that. All right. Uh, Mr. President, thanks so much. Stay safe. Uh, best of luck along the way in this counterinsurgency. Hope you make some big progress through the rest of the, uh, through the rest of the fall. Thank you, sir. So in sum, what the MAGA Republicans want to be talking about today, what they want us to focus on is this graph. Hunter Biden payments to various women because in the indictment that was unsealed in Los Angeles federal court, they go after Hunter Biden for who paid back his taxes in 2021, but they go after Hunter Biden for a lavish lifestyle while he was a drug addict and expenditures on various women. That's the graph that MAGA Republicans wake up and 
uh, obsess about. It's revealing about who they actually are and what's lurking behind their, uh, you know what. Um, but here's the graphs that I want to focus on, not that graph. I want to focus on charts like this. 199,000 jobs added in November, the unemployment rate down to 3.7%. Other graphs showing jobs are up. Now, I don't want to be focused on what these MAGA Republicans are talking about. Well, anyway, there you have it, folks. I thought Jake Tapper did a great interview. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Could also support this network at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Have a great one. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.